Toho Spell Bubble is a puzzle game with a clear derivative inspiration from the Puzzle Bobble series. The objective remains the same, clear bubbles from the top of the screen by preparing three or more of the same color. However, Toho Spell Bubble has its own flair of mechanics reminiscent of its own home series that exudes a different feel from the other games in the genre. Toho Spell Bubble's main difference lie in the spell card system and the addition of a rhythm mechanic. Each stage lasts 3 or 4 minutes, with the rate at which you can shoot bubbles depending on the BPM of the song. This gives the incentive to try all kinds of songs since they offer a different speed of play. The other aspect of spell cards make for a more head-to-head -head fight, as each character has a unique power that can change the tide of battle. In that sense, the game feels more engaging when on the offensive than a title like Tetris, where the only interaction you have with your opponent is to complete your puzzle. The gameplay gets a bit more complicated complicated than this, with field effects and special bubbles appearing from time to time, but there isn't anything a beginner won't pick up after a few rounds. With the matches being so long, it would be discouraging if your board filling up with bubbles resulted in immediate defeat. Instead, you receive a short penalty of having to clear a board filled with unusable rock pieces. This was a pleasant surprise, having games open to comebacks and letting beginners continue to play even when they make mistakes. The featured gameplay of Bubble Popping has a clear audience, with its addictive yet straightforward gameplay. While the music-based shooting tempo is interesting, it is an incredible innovation to the genre. It's not trying to beat Tetris and Puyo Puyo in direct comparisons. Still, Spell Bubble offers a rare look into the Toho series for those who are scared off by the hectic nature of its Don Maku dodging counterpart. The game story is low impact with a few Toho plot references, so it is painless to get into the humorous tournament arc between Gensokyo's residents. The short VN style conversations between characters show their personalities while their spell cards provide hints at their powers. The song selection doesn't stop at Toho's songs that are present in popular media. For more invested fans, Toho's Spell Bubble is the who's who of fan work circles, from creators such as A1, Iosis, and Akutsoki Records. There's also pleasant voice acting and bright art style to be a fresh rendition of the residents of Gensokyo. For those who are new to Toho, the often sarcastic ridiculous dialogue flows pleasantly, and it's clear that these characters have more depth and storied backgrounds than just what this game offers. This makes Spell Bubble worth it if you are interested in learning about Toho at a less breakneck speed. By default, the story mode begins on the normal difficulty. This can be lowered to easy and later on raised to hard and lunatic mode. The difference between difficulty modes is the beat timing and the intensity of the opponents. By the end of the campaign, the normal difficulty felt just right, as the difficulty ramps up on par with their power with in the series. Your incentive to continue playing comes in collectible songs and spell cards for unlockable characters to use in battle. You gain about 300 in-game currency for each completed battle, with, with items being worth 500 to 1000, which is an acceptable pace of achievement. There's a challenge mode, which asks you to defeat an enemy character. While it is a way to broaden the player's playstyle, it does not add much in terms of content that was not already available. Finally, there's a battle mode, which allows you and another player to fight against each other. This is where the majority of replay value lies. Playing against the CPU can be fun, as with many other puzzle games. But with Spell Bubble's battle-oriented spell card system, mixing and matching the efforts of spell cards against each other is more interesting than applied with a real person's logic and skill. For veterans of the Toho series, Toho Spell Bubble is a no-brainer. With voice acting, amazing artwork, and a side story featuring Toho's main characters, this is a great way to learn about the setting in a bite-sized adventure. There are about 3-4 hours of gameplay within the main campaign, with an additional story afterward. So in addition to wanting to learn about Toho, it would be advisable to have a friend who would enjoy ducking it out with you, lest the game collects dust once the story is over. Overall, Toho Spell Bubble aims for a specific demographic and does that very well. Noisy Pixels giving Toho Spell Bubble a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.